Alright, so I've been gone for two weeks working on this new 100 days video that took me hours upon hours to survive and edit, and well, it didn't go so well, because I ended up dying to one of the stupidest things I have ever seen in this game. But I thought to myself, well, I can't just leave this video in a folder never to see the light of day, so I decided to upload it anyway. So here you go, here's me attempting to survive 100 days in Hardcore 1.17. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will come back in later and explain exactly how I died and what went on. But uh, yeah, anyways, on with the video. Alright, so day one, you already know how this goes. I spawned in, I instantly went and got some wooden tools, then I went and upgraded them to stone, uh, and then I went out in search of a little bit of food. While searching for food, I stumbled across this little bit of copper right here, and uh, I'm never going to use it, I don't know why I picked it up, but hey, it's pretty cool, I guess. Ooh, we've got some copper right here. I'm never going to use this, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Oh, it's the new, it's the new ore thing. I like that. It's cool. After getting some food, I uh, set up camp in this little hidey hole for the night, and I uh, went mining all night. I found eight iron, and uh, I found an abandoned mine shaft. I can't believe how lucky or unlucky I am with this. But uh, yeah, there's a mine shaft right underneath my little hidey hole. Hey boys, look at this. Whoa, wasn't expecting to find one of these. I've just been mining straight down. I heard some spiders up here, and I thought, well, is there a spawner? Because it sounds like a lot of them. I just decided to leave it and uh, come down further, and look at this. I can't believe this. Uh, I've never actually found one in this update, so that's gonna be that's gonna be quite fun. I hear a lot of cave spiders though. I'm gonna assume they're cave spiders, and I, uh, well, I hate cave spiders, so this is gonna be it's gonna be fun, ain't it? Oh, I see some deep slate over there. I don't know if it's even called that, a deep cobble or whatever it is. I don't know what is it. We'll see. It's cobbled deep slate. You see, I was close. I was close with both of them. All right. Well, I gotta get some iron, so I'll come back down here with my iron pickaxe. On day two, with my iron sword and pickaxe in tow, I decided to go and take on a portion of that mineshaft, and I found a fair bit of useful stuff down there. Right, we're gonna go take on at least a bit of this mineshaft. I got a nice little iron sword, got my iron pickaxe, pretty happy for day two, but uh, this could go pretty bad, alright? This could go pretty bad, I absolutely hate mineshafts. Gotta be very- ooh, 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 the torch, the torch saved me, oh my god. I almost got caught in a landslide, Jesus. Would it be a cave-in? I'm pretty sure it'd be a cave-in. Oh, wait, hang on a minute, boys. I uh, I just remembered. I've got enough iron left over to make a shield, so I don't have to be so worried. Uh, there we go. All right, sweet. Now we're basically invincible. All right, put them in my hotbar. There we go. All right, I don't have to be that worried now. Now, let me tell you, by the time I was done with that mineshaft, I came out with 53 iron, some lapis, and a bit of coal, which for day two is not bad at all. However, on my way out, I did get jumped by this skelly boy, and uh, he died. I only managed to get a few good hits on me, and I, uh, I almost kicked the bucket too, but I survived. Because in this world, I am the apex predator, and uh, I'm going to survive these hundred days. Come on. Oh, there you are. Right, take your shot. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! That was cheap. That was cheap. Oh my god. Boy, you almost had me. That was a cheap shot, dude. Did you see what he did? He 360 would me off the, like, staircase I built. After returning back to the surface, I decided to go in search of wool, and I remembered on day one, I left a baby sheep alive for it to grow up and give me wool. So uh, I went out, I found him, I sheared him, and I got enough wool for a bed. So uh, yeah, we slept very nicely on night two. On day three, when I woke up, I, uh, I instantly made a blast furnace to smell all the iron that I found while I was down in the mine shaft. And uh, while the blast furnace was doing its thing, I went out in search of some seeds to start a little farm. I need some seeds. Give me seeds. I only got one. I need more. A man, a man can't live off of one seed. Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right, here we go. Nice little farm. Nice little farm going right here. It's not much, but uh, it'll it'll get there. It'll get there. By the time I'd finished with my farm, I, my iron was pretty much done. So I made a full set of iron gear on day three. This was it, it was insane. It was so quick. And boots. There we go. Fully kitted out. Day like what is it? Two? Day two? Day three? Day three. Fully kitted out day three. All right, we're pretty good. Might as well make some some iron tools as well. By the dawn of day four, we were doing pretty good on everything. We were doing good on everything. So I decided to have a little wander around the area and try and plot out an area where I was going to build my house because I really didn't want to live in a dark oak biome. They just don't look good. After stumbling around aimlessly for about two or three minutes, I, I discovered this cool looking mountain right here, this cool looking snowy mountain, and I decided that's where I want to build my house. So uh, I spent the rest of the day getting a load of wood and planning out how I wanted to build this house. Oh yeah, boys, we've got to, we've, we've got to live up here, don't we? But this is a cool place. This is a cool place. I will definitely think about living here. On day five, I decided that I wanted to go and finish clearing out the mineshaft before I moved so I could get the full worth of it. Um, I went down there, I didn't really find too much, found a little bit of iron, and I ended up stumbling across a mineshaft chest, which was, you know, it was pretty good, I was happy to find that. So, uh, yeah, after finding the chest, I decided that I was happy to leave the shaft and never return. Ooh, there's a Minecraft, uh, the chest right here, what we got? Uh, some iron, 
some torches, which is always nice, and a name tag as well as a melon seeds. All right, sweet. Okay. Now I'm satisfied with my shaft. On day six, the move began. I uh, packed up all my things and I headed to the mountain. I was going to make another hidey hole and chill there while I was building my house. All right, boys, here is our new abode. There's an emerald over there, though. Hello. Give me, give me that. Give me that. I didn't know they could spawn this high up, but hey, new biome generation. Anyway, boys, here's our new abode. Um, I just moved in, you know, put everything in there, in the chests, all the furnaces here. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe either directly above here is where I'm going to build the house or on that little mountain there. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. After successfully making a new little hidey hole, I decided to call it a day. On day seven, it was time to start work on the house. Now, I did waste half the day clearing the top of the mountain for some reason. I, I was never planning to build the house up there. But uh, yeah, either, either way, progress started, all right? Progress started and it continued on to day 10. So I'm just going to roll a time lapse of me building the house up until day 10. And then I decided to move in. It wasn't fully done, but I decided to move in on day 10. All right, boys, you know I'm happy with the progress. You know, we're on day 10, we can now live in here. I know it's not done, done yet, but we'll keep working on it over time. You know, I'm not going to do it all in one because it's taking up a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking the style of it. The uh, the window looks cool. I've got a little door over here. Um, this is a bit of a problem with the drop, but uh, I'll, I'll I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out, all right? So it's all right. All right, there we go. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, well, we're going to call it a day. And look at that, we get to see the sunset from our bed now. Look at that. Well, I mean, you can't really see it, but you know what it'll do. On day 11, I spent all day working on a farm. Now, I went for kind of a natural-looking farm this time instead of a structured one. I don't know, I think it'll look cool in the end. On day 12, I set out to tackle the problem of me walking out my door and then falling off the ledge. So I tried to make the outside of the house less of a death trap, and I also made a staircase down to the farm area. Okay, it's coming along now, it's coming along. I'm trying to space out these uh, these logs like two, two steps each, but... Um... The, the problem that we're facing is we're running out of dark oak. Now, I only brought three stacks, and I thought three stacks would be enough, but I wasn't planning on wasting logs like this, but I guess it'll be okay. On day 13, from working on the staircase on day 12, I was kind of out of wood, so uh, I went out to get some, and I was also pretty low on food, so I grabbed some of that too. Here we are. We're going to grab some wood, and then we're going to head back home. Uh, I think I'll only need, like, maybe two stacks, and that's, like, four, four trees, so that's easily doable. Easily doable. All right, that should be enough. Uh, two stacks and eight. If it's not, then, I mean, I'll just come back here, but uh, it should be enough. As a matter of fact, I'll just mine my way through this tree. Oh, wait, there's my old house. I'm right next to it. I didn't even know that. After grabbing enough wood and food to last me a good while, I uh, I went back home and I finished the staircase. Now, it looked okay. It could look a bit better, but I'll, I'll fix it later. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, after I did the staircase, I went straight to bed. All right, there we go. It's done. It doesn't look... <laughs> God... It doesn't look too great, but um, I'll fill in the rest with just like normal planks at some point, but it works and it doesn't look as bad as it did. On days 14 to 17, I decided that it was finally time for me to go and look for a few diamonds. Uh, so I went exploring in a few caves and I went strip mining. I didn't have the best of luck, but I'll roll a few clips for you right now to see how it went. Right, boys, I'm working on getting into this cave. Look at this. Look at this. This is a pretty big cave. Uh, hopefully, it'll take us down to the Y level we need to get to, because I mean, we're pretty close. We're at minus 30, and they spawn around, like, minus 50, minus 60, I think. So, we should be we should be pretty close. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing, dude. I love these new caves. Get away, buddy. Oh, my God. Look at this. What? Oh my god, boys, look at this! Look at this! It's one of the new squids. It's about to die. No, go in there, buddy. No, don't die on me. No, you're new. You're new content. Please live. There we go. Oh, but you're gonna... Alright, either way, it's a glow squid. I don't know what they do. They glow, apparently. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting into diamond territory. Oh, there it is! There it is! Our first diamonds. Look at them. Ooh, they're looking, they're looking good in that deep slate. Was that one? Was that just a singular diamond? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. All right, well, we've got this first diamond. I'm happy about that. All right, boys, we're not having too much luck with these diamonds, so uh, I started a little strip mine over here, but I, uh, I'm i going to start branching out off to the sides and going down another two levels because that seems to be a pretty good idea. 
Um, hopefully we can find some more. I'd like to find enough to make a pickaxe before we go back to the surface, but if it takes too long, then uh, I guess I guess we'll just chill with the one we have. Oh my dear god, finally! Oh my god, it's been so long. Literally, boys, look at this. Look at this. This entire strip, I have mined out the walls. I have mined out the walls, and I am yet to find a diamond. And finally, in one of the last, like, two or three I have to do... Yes! Oh my god, okay. How many have we got? We got one... Ooh, three vein, four vein. There's a four vein right there. Hell yeah, dude. Yes! All right. Thank the Lord. After successfully getting enough diamonds for me to be somewhat satisfied, I, uh, I grabbed some obsidian and I went straight back home. On day 18, I decided to take a look at the nether spawn, so I built myself a portal and uh, I, I went in there. And honestly, I couldn't believe what happened. I spawned next to another bastion. Now, I don't know if this is rare or what, but this is the second time now. This is the second time. It happened in the first 100 days and it's happening now. I, I don't like it. No, stay away. Oh, yeah, bitch. Okay, well, we've got another bastion. That's that's lovely. Is it a bastion? Yeah, no, it's 100% a bastion. Okay, great. Um, what about a fortress? A fortress around here. Nope, there's a ruined portal down there, though. Is it the same bastion as well? Oh my god, would you see them over there? Oh dear god. Okay, maybe... Maybe not deal with them right now. Let's have a little look off the side, though. I want to see whereabouts we are. After taking a quick look around my nether spawn and putting a bit of cobblestone up, I uh, I swiftly left the nether because uh, I wasn't going to take on that bastion anytime soon. I learnt my lesson last time. On day 19, I decided that I wanted to go and try and find a village because I wanted to get on with trading as soon as possible. After about 4 or 5 minutes of looking, I ended up stumbling across one and it had a blacksmith and oh boy, this chest had some good loot. Just take a look. Hey, is that- Hey, there we go, there's a little village. Okay, it's not too far away as well. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's- it's kind of close, it's kind of close. Um, is there anything useful here? Is it just a small village? Is it a big village? Uh, I don't know what's going on with this farm right here, but it's it's alright, you know? It's fine. Let's see what this blacksmith has to offer. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, yes, you give me the rarest of items. Thank you. Oh my god, I'll take that iron sword too, because mine's running. A little bit low. After looting the blacksmith, I went out to gather all the hay bales I could find so that I could pull them down into wheat and uh, trade them for them sweet, sweet emeralds. Woo. We're tearing through them. We have no idea how many emeralds I'm going to have from these. After successfully scamming the villagers to pay for their own goods, I decided to spend the night there because it was getting dark. On day 20, I started the journey back home and uh, I killed every cow I saw along the way. After eventually returning home, I decided that I was going to start focusing my efforts on farming for the next little while because I had the genius idea of trading for diamond gear from villagers, but uh, to do that, I'd need quite a lot of stuff, so uh, I spent the rest of the day working on the farm, making it bigger and uh, just better overall. Right, I want to get a, uh, a good farm going. Right, I want to get a good farm going, decently sized, I want to get a few potatoes on there. Get the sugar cane going a bit as well because I need that for books, but mainly the wheat and the potatoes because we need to get enough to uh, to really get some trades going. I spent days 21 and 22 just farming and getting more stock up for trading with villagers. Also, on day 22, I made an enchantment table, so that was uh, that was pretty good. On day 23, I realized that my iron situation was getting pretty dire. I was running really low on it, so uh, I went mining and I grabbed some more iron. So I literally have like two iron to my name now. Uh, we had like a stack and it's all gone. So I need to go and refresh on that before we continue with any farming or anything because uh, I'm going to run out real soon. In the process of me grabbing the iron, I came across like six or seven skeletons. There was a lot of skelly boys in these caves. Shiny boy. I get out of here. Oh, it's the new things. Look at these. Oh, shit. Can I take these? Oh, I can. What's that? Point of dripstone. Oh. After grabbing just enough iron to carry me on for the next few days, I returned back to the surface. Alright, 34 iron. That should be enough for now. We only need enough just to tide us on for a little while while I get the uh, enchanting table set up and the farm going so we can get some good trades on the go. Oh, we have a friend. Hello. Uh, I'm going to get up top before you do. Um, and then if you actually manage to catch up to me, I'm going to kill you if that's okay. Yeah? Sound good? Alright, well you just follow me. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's a determined boy. I'll tell you that much. Look at him. He followed me all the way up. For what? For what? One hit. One hit is all you got. I spent all of day 24 farming and gathering sugarcane to make more books for my enchantment table. 
On day 25, I actually made the bookshelves for my enchantment table, and I also remembered that you can trade clay for emeralds, so I spent the rest of the day grabbing as much clay as I could find. Um, I really wanted a load. On day 26, it was finally time to head back to the village and start getting all my armor and weapon trades set up. So I packed up all my supplies and I headed out. When I got to the village, the first thing I did was I trapped all the useful villagers that I needed to trade with so that they wouldn't die, uh, and then I began trading with them. I ended up spending all day here trading with the villagers, so I just decided to stay here for the night. On day 27, I did a load more trading, and I also got a lot of emeralds from this clay boy right here. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good guy to trade with. I also got an armorer to trade coal for emeralds so I could level him up pretty quickly, um, and then as soon as I did that, it was straight back to clay trades for the rest of the day. By day 28, I had all the villagers in the jobs that I needed them to have, uh, and I made some good progress with leveling them up, but now I needed to get a load of coal and a load more clay, so I headed back home to restock. Alright boys, so we've done pretty well with leveling these boys up. We've got the uh, the mason in there for clay, we've got an armorer in here, the blacksmith's over there, and he's going to trade me weapons. Um, but we need we need to fill this boy up, alright? We need to level this boy up. He needs a load of coal. I think it's like 16 coal for one emerald, so it's a lot. So we need to... Uh, Need to head back home and get a lot of stuff. We just need to completely restock and everything. When I got home, I decided to make a little enchantment area. On day 29, I went scouring around all the mountains around my area to try and find and grab as much coal as I possibly could. And at the end of the day, I ended up with almost five stacks, so it was pretty good. Ooh, I see a lot of coal around here. There's some right here, some up there, some over there, down there, over there. It's all over. Hell yeah, dude. I thought coal was going to be a little bit of a problem, but uh, nope. On day 30, I'm pretty sure I had a lazy day because all I put down was I waited for the wheat to grow and I grabbed a few blocks of clay. So that, that, that's it. That's day 30 for you. On day 31, I headed back to the village to do some more trading. And while I was there, I ended up getting half of diamond armor. So that was that was pretty good. All right, there we go. We got the uh, we got some diamond gear from this boy right here. Uh, we got it, It's not great, but we can add more enchants to it as we see fit. But it's not terrible prices either. So I'm going to... Take him up on these leggings right here, and I'm going to take him up on the boots as well. Later on in the day, I decided that I was going to stay in the village overnight just to get some iron for the blacksmith and level him up a bit. Alright boys, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up camp here for about a day or so, because the, the blacksmith down there is not going to trade me anything good until I uh, until I give him a load of iron. And I only have 17, so we're going to chill around here, and um, we're going to go down to these caves, see if we can grab a little bit of iron and smelt it over here. On day 32, I smelted all the iron that I gathered the night before, and I also ended up getting a full diamond armor trade, and I was really happy about that. And there we go, there's the rest of the set. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. We got that pretty quickly. And he's got a more discounted a little bit as well. I doubt we're going to be able to get the rest of them today, but uh, we're going to have to probably restock an emerald before we can get the, the helmet and the, the chest piece. With the armor trades out of the way, I decided that I was going to spend the rest of the day trying to work on some weapon trades. So I gathered a load of flint to trade with the blacksmith to hopefully level him up a bit. All right, there we go. We've got a diamond axe. Not exactly what I wanted. Also, what is that trade? Why would I ever do that trade? That is awful. Now, admittedly, gathering flint and trading it with a blacksmith wasn't the best way to level him up, but, you know, at the end of day 32, I did get a diamond helmet. So, you know, I was happy with that. On day 33, it was time to head back home, and while I was heading home, I, uh, I found a ruined portal, which was pretty cool. Oh, what's that over there? I see a gold block. Is that a portal? I think that is a portal. Ooh, is there a chest? Yeah, I just saw the bloody gold block out of the corner of my eye. Hello, what are you got in here? Ooh, nine golden carrots, an efficiency two golden shovel, always nice. A bit of obsidian, a few iron nuggets, and some curse of binding golden boots. All right, well, they can be left. I will take the gold block, though. When I got back home, I saw some cows on top of one of the mountains around my area, and I kind of wanted to take them and make a farm, so uh, that's what I did for the rest of day 33. Okay, I saw some cows over there, so I think I'm going to go uh, make some fences and make a little cow farm, because I need some more leather. I doubt six is going to be enough. I need some more leather for books and bookshelves, so... Alright, I know it's not the prettiest, alright, but we'll change it at a later date. I just want to grab those cows. Hello, buddy! How you doing? I don't want the sheep. I just want the cows. This is going to speed up my rate of gathering the leather exponentially. There we go! Alright, you are going to supply me with enough leather to finish my enchantment area. I decided to spend day 34 and day 35 working on expanding my wheat farm and breeding a load of cows so I can get my leather finally done and out of the way for the bookshelves for my enchantment table. And I also made a few changes to my storage and tidied it up a little bit. On day 36, after two days of farming and uh, breeding cows, I still did not have enough leather, so uh, I went out to find some. After searching for just a little while, I ended up finding a whole load of cows, so I, uh, I quickly dispatched them.
After quickly dispatching the cows, I realized that there was another ruined portal next to me, so I went and checked the chest, and there was really only some obsidian and gold in it, so it wasn't really that great. After I looted the disappointing portal chest, I, uh, I headed back home, and as soon as I got home, I made the last bookshelf for my enchantment table, and I put it down. Level 30, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're going to enchant this pickaxe with that because uh, we're damaging it quite heavily, and uh, I'd rather get unbreaking on it so I don't lose it before I get mending. I'm hoping for fortune, okay? I'm really hoping that I get fortune on this. That would be so big. I would be so happy with that. Please give me fortune. Son of a bitch gave me silk touch. Oh my god. The one thing I didn't want. I really didn't want silk touch. I have no use for it. It didn't even give me... It didn't even give me um, efficiency at all. Okay. Well, I'm going to go make a grindstone. There we go. At least I got some of the XP back. Now, fortune. Silk touch again? What? No, I only have one more chance at this. Please. Please. Fortune. Please. Uh, efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. Well, it's better than bloody silk touch, I'll tell you that much. After getting screwed over pretty badly by my enchants, I, uh, I went to bed. On day 37, I woke up and I had the bright idea to go looking around the mountains for some emeralds, because I thought I'd find, you know, a decent amount of them. Uh, no. At the end of the day, I found three, and this was an absolutely terrible idea, and I'm not going to waste your time uh, watching the entire day. The, literally, I found three emeralds, and I got a lower coal. That's it. On day 38, I harvested my farm, I got level 30 again, and I tried to uh, I tried to enchant my gear again, but for some reason, I think my enchantment table broke. I don't know what happened with it, but it was really strange. I'll, I'll let you take a look. Okay, I'm back. I've got my lapis. Here we go. Oh my god, what a terrible, 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 terrible... Edible level 30 enchant. Oh my god. That was... That was... That was... That was really bad. That was really bad, man. What are these enchants, my guy? What? Wait, what? It's because it's level 10. Why is it level 10? Why was it a level 10 enchant? What? Hello? Is everything... Wait. Why are you level 10, though? Is my enchant... Is my table busted? Hello? What? Um, what's happened with you then? I think my enchant table's like busted or some shit. Let me try and pick it up and put it back down. No, it's still saying level 10. Why is it saying level 10? Is it because I'm not level 30? Like, I don't know. Let me, let me break a few of these. I'll put them back down. But I just want to break a few of them. See if the level changes. Yeah, now I'm saying level 3. Okay. Level 10? Yeah, what the Christ have I done to it? Okay, alright. Well, we're not having great luck with this, so I guess I'll try again later. Uh, but as for now, I don't really want to waste all my levels like I just did on level 10 enchants. Okay. Try and figure what happened with that later on. That's not my problem right now. On day 39, I headed to the gravel mountains near my house to uh, to pick up some flint. I took two iron shovels with me, and uh, at the end of the day, I only had enough for two trades, so it really wasn't that effective. After gathering my minimal amount of flint, I decided to spend the rest of the day just grabbing more wheat. On day 40, it was time for me to return to the village, but this time, I wasn't leaving until I had everything I wanted. I managed to pick up my diamond chest piece as soon as I got to the village, and then quickly followed by a diamond axe and a diamond sword from the blacksmith. There we go, chess piece acquired, boys. There we go, full diamond. Full diamond. Mm -mm. We also have a, uh, a stray villager without a job now, because I removed his uh, his job, but I never traded with him. So we're going to try and make him a librarian and get him to trade as mending for a good price. You know what, buddy? I'll take your diamond axe. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take it. There we go. There we go. Right, he's leveled up again. Let him do his uh, stock refreshy thing. There it is. What we got? Diamond sword with knockback for 17 diamonds. Okay, he's not going to give me a pickaxe, but that's all right. That's all right. We already have a pickaxe. Okay, you know what? This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Here we go. Give me that sword. There we go. Look at that. Yes. All right. Full diamond. Full diamond. Now all that was really left for me to get was a mending trade, so I set out to make that happen. I spent days 41 to 43 working on getting a mending trade from a villager. So uh, I worked on grabbing a lectern, growing some sugarcane and whatnot. And uh, eventually on day 43, I managed to get my mending book trade. Hey buddy, give me that trade. Yeah, there we go. I uh, realized that I have like no iron on me and I need an anvil. And I don't think I made one. Oh dear. 
Now on day 43, I realized that I needed an anvil, uh, so I decided to go mining because I had no iron, and I ended up finding a mineshaft, and uh, soon after finding the mineshaft, I ended up finding three chests that were uh, were pretty good. Well boys, we've found a mineshaft, and this cool looking area, and a skeleton, okay. But I wasn't expecting to find one of those, uh, literally, right, this cave just kept going round, it's from the, like, slightly higher cave. That I went mining in at the very beginning. Ooh, there's a chest over there. And a skeleton on my ass. Get away. Come here. Come here. Deal with you now. Go get my chest. Oi! Die! There we go. Oh, we hit level 30 again, too. It's not like it matters. The enchantment table's broke. Right, what's in here? Glowberries? Ooh, you're new. You are very new. Hello. Right, some bread, some torches. I'll take the torches. The iron is very welcome. Uh, I don't really need the bread, to be honest with you. Leave it in there. Oh, there's another chest behind us. Any any down here? No? Okay, there's another chest here. And there! What the Christ? Three chests? Hello? Oh my god! Look at the glowberries! Look at the glowberries! What are you? What, what do they even do? What do they even do? Can I, I, I'm assuming I can eat them, but I don't know what's... Jesus! They put a lot of torches in these. Oh my god. On day 45, I finally made myself an anvil and put mending on my pickaxe. Now, at this point, my enchantment stable was still broken, so uh, I decided that instead of enchanting to level 30, I was going to use the level 10 enchants that I could get and put them on books and then combine them in the anvil to get level 30 worthy enchants. Um, it, it's a really long process, I know, but it works and I'm fine with that. On day 46 to day 48, after getting mending on my pickaxe, I decided it was finally time to go in search of a nether fortress. And uh, day 48, I found one. And uh, I went in there, I, I looted it a little bit, and I got my blaze rods, and then I instantly went back home because I was not staying in there any longer. On day 49, after spending a few days in the nether, I decided to take a chill day. And I uh, made a nether wall farm, and I also spent most of the day mining some obsidian to, uh, to improve upon my nether portal, alright? I wanted a bigger one. Day 50, we're halfway there again. Uh, on day 50, all I did was uh, I built my new nether portal, you know, I put it in a nice clean looking area. It was looking pretty good, but that's all I did on day 50. I took another chill day. All right, so there's the new portal. Look at this. It's looking pretty good. I thought I'd do it on day 50 before it got any later because I'd, I'd forget to do it. So there it is. It looks all right. Uh, oh, sh uh, I forgot to do the back of it, but don't worry about that. Just don't look through it. It's fine. On day 51, I went into the nether and I decided that I was going to trade with some piglins to try and get some pearls. Give me pearls, buddy. I need your pearls. Your boy needs to go to the end. It's, it's like day 50 and we're not we're not there yet. Give me pearls. No, I don't want your gravel. I don't want your gravel. What are you doing up here? Oh, I was about to hit you then. I was about to hit you then. That would have been the biggest mistake I could have ever made in here. Oh my god. You're lucky. You're lucky. Just don't, just don't mess with my boy down here and you're fine. Please, just give me at least one bloody pearl, man. I don't have to go. I don't want to go to the blue biome and kill a load of endermen. Oi, stop stealing the gold. Stop it. Yeah. They're not going to kill me if I kill you like this, are they? No. Exactly. Now give me your trades. Needless to say, my luck was not great at all. So I decided that on day 52, I was going to go into the blue biome and uh, kill a load of endermen. Right, well, I guess tomorrow we're going to head over to the blue biome and kill some endermen. Because I want pearls, all right? I need pearls. I don't have lootin', but it should be fine. So, on day 52, I headed into the blue biome looking for the Enderman. Now, when I got there, this happened, and this was this was absolutely terrifying. I don't know what, what I did, I don't know what I was doing, but it was absolutely terrifying. Ooh! Ooh! Shit! My man! My man, my man, my man! Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! Jesus! Oh my god. Jesus, dude. I, I kind of lost it there. I don't know what the hell just happened. I kind of got scared that he was hitting me. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it's because that's too low. Oh my god. Okay. All right, we need to we need to make sure that that never happens again. That was way too close. Holy shit. Now, I ended up farming out Enderman until day 54 because my luck was really not good. But by the end of day 54, I had 14 pearls, which was more than enough. We got 14 pearls. That should be enough. Uh, maybe just take these these boys out right here just to, just to be safe, you know, just to make sure that we do have enough pearls. Uh, and after we took these boys out, we're going to go home. 
On day 55, I decided that I was going to head back to the village to see if I could grab anything else that would be useful to me, and I also wanted to trade with the villagers for some XP to enchant my gear, because obviously my enchantment table was still broken, so I had to do it the long way. Right, boys, I want to go to the village to, uh, number one, to get some XP to uh, to actually enchant my gear, because I'm a little bit low on XP. I know I'm level 17, but it gets torn through real quick, and I can only get level 10 enchants, so that's... That's great. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the village to get some XP and we're also going to see if I can pick up the armor. So like the diamond armor again and combine it to get like unbreaking. Oh, well, that, I guess that's already the best it can be. But like fire protection 2, for example, or respiration 2, uh, feather falling 3, like that. Yep, stuff like that. You get the idea. Buddy, why are you still up there? Get down, my friend. Get down. We've talked about this. Right, where's my wheat trading, boys? I got a lot of wheat and a few potatoes for you. Yeah, come here. There we go. Now oh, there goes all my potatoes. And there goes l almost all my wheat. Jesus, dude. 23 emeralds, though. Not bad. Um, and he didn't even level up at all. Maybe just... I need some apples anyway. There we go. All right, that'll do. Level him up a bit. Ah, okay, there we go. Now he's finally taking melons. I should have brought my melons with me. Um, I'll go and grab them soon. Now, I know one of these boyos took quartz. I think it might be this guy over here. Uh, but I have a decent amount of quartz for you, buddy. You had it on offer last time. Come here. Uh, yeah, you do. There we go. Now, I know my mending boy is here. Um, and I want to... Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've gone, you've gone further off there, buddy. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. So, he's got all these on offer, which is pretty cool. Um, his armor is taking a little bit of a beat in his helmet, especially at this point. But um, I'm not really too worried about it. Now, I stayed in the village for a couple days just gathering XP and uh, spending my emeralds because I wanted to either get protection or fortune trade from a uh, from a librarian. I did end up getting fortune, so uh, that was pretty cool. You know, it wasn't protection, but it was good enough I was happy with it. So, uh, yeah, on day 57, I headed back home and I was going to put fortune on my pickaxe. Boys, he did fortune one before he did any protection except projectiles, so we're just going to take fortune one, fortune one, uh, combine them to, that's fortune two, we need a few more. However, when I got back home, I didn't have enough XP. It wanted 16 levels, and I, I did not have 16, so uh, I went and mined some quartz. Ooh, I don't know whether I'll have enough levels to put it on my pickaxe. No, I need 16. Oh my god. I need 16 levels to put it on that. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, I guess I'm going to go mine some quartz, and I'll be back with you when I'm at level 16, eh? When I got level 16 from mining the quartz, I, uh, I headed straight back home and put fortune on my pick. Now, on day 58, after I got fortune on my pickaxe, I decided that I was going to go mining. I spent two days down here, alright? I spent two days mining, and I found some pretty cool stuff, okay? I found an amethyst cluster, um, I found a zombie spawner, and uh, I, I got swarmed in a big cave with a load of zombies, alright? It was a very eventful mining time, I'll tell you that much. But I'm not going to lie to you, I absolutely love this feature, like... The, the new raw ore thing, where you get fortune from, like, fortune works on iron. Like, look at this, right? So there's, we're going to mine four right here. Okay, we've got seven. We've got 20. Look at that. We literally got 13 from that four. What? It is ridiculous. It's so cool. Ooh, is that the, is that the, 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 the crystal area? Yeah, it is. Look at this. Hey. Look at this! Whoa, can I take you? What are they? Amethyst shards. Uh, can I combine them into something? Oh, amethyst block, I think. Yeah, yeah, block of amethyst. So cool, dude. Hell yeah. Um, This is also something new, which is really cool, because it looks like quartz. It's calcite. It looks like quartz, but it's... uh, I don't know. I think it's a lot nicer than quartz. Look at it. There's just a little, a little texture on it. It looks quite cool. Oh, I do like this. Might as well pick up some amethyst while we're in here, you know? Pick up some of this white stuff too. I don't really know what I'm going to build with it, if I am even going to build anything with it right here. But, um, hey, I'm taking it. It's cool. Do you hear that noise, boys? Look at this. Listen this. I like it. Wait, what is this? Hello? What? Cool. Um, what exactly happened to this spawner? Hello? I mean, I'm going to light it up, but... Alright, we're just going to leave that be. That's the first spawner I found in 1.17. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Bit broken, but pretty cool nonetheless. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. See, they're, they're hold up by chains. Pretty cool. Ooh, we're also in a really big cave. I might as well have a little look around this, you know? Get some gold, get some lapis. Be happy. Damn, these caves are so cool, man. 
Get off my lapis. Hey! Don't take my lapis, buddy. What the fuck are you stealing my lapis? What is happening down here? Hello. What? Is there a spawner or something? I know there is, but, like, that's... It's turned off. I turned it off. What are you doing, boys? Jesus Christ. Enough zombies already. Oh my god, stop. Damn, this is so cool, man. I don't want to leave. I just don't want to leave. It's so cool. Honest to god, this is... This is just way better than anything used to be. Look at it all. Not a big fan of how many zombies just came after me, like, but I mean, that's... I guess that's alright. I'm gonna lie, boys, that was a pretty good haul. Two, two and almost a half of stacks of iron, a little bit of lapis, some coal, um, and the, the white shit. The white shit, yeah. The white shit. Calcite, that's it. Yeah, dude, so cool. Got my amethyst in there, got my amethyst shards in there. Alright, we're looking good. On day 61, it was finally time to start looking for the stronghold, so I made some eyes of Ender, and I started out on the journey. The first one I throw breaks, and I only had 12. Well, we're going to risk it. Um, if we need more, I'll come back and get them anyway, because I need to come back here before we go into the end. Uh, but it was over this way, so let's continue, I guess. After a little while of walking, I stumbled across another village, so uh, after making a quick stop to loot up, I, uh, I continued on searching. This is the second village. Oh, yes. Uh, what loot have you got for me? My village, I shall... Uh, I'm sure I'll see you again. I'm going to have to make this journey like two or three times, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll see you again. Uh, hello, giant mountain that looks really cool. How are we, how are we doing over here, buddy? Now, on day 62, I found the stronghold and I went down. Right, where are we looking, I? Where are we looking? Over here? We're looking over here, eh? It's here. Oh boy, oh, it's here. There we go. Hey. Hey. There we go. It only took us like two hours. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's try and find this, uh, let's try and find this portal room and see how many eyes we're actually going to need because I guarantee you I don't have enough. Soon after going down, I, uh, I found the portal room, which was pretty good and it had no eyes in it. So that was, that was great. Uh, of course, my luck, it has no eyes in it. Great. Well, we can put five in right now. All right, then we need seven more. Okay, great. I guess we'll work on getting those. We want to deal with some more blaze, but I need to get the coordinates of this place so I don't bloody lose it again. But, uh, yeah, took me a while, but we're here. We're here. Now we're going to go back home. On day 64, it was time to start the long journey back home to gear up more and grab some more Eyes of Ender. When I got home, I wasted no time in preparing for the upcoming fight. I made some gapples, and I also got Protection 3 on my chest piece. By the time I was done preparing, the sun was already going down, so uh, I went to bed. On day 65, it was time to return to the nether, because I needed more Eyes of Ender. So uh, yeah, as soon as I got there, I got very lucky and managed to get a piglin to trade me pearls. I've only got two left, please give me pearls. Yes! Oh my god, that's exactly enough. Thank you, that is more than I need. Thank you so much, good fellow. You've been a good friend to me. After receiving the pearls from that good boy, it was time to go and grab some more blaze rods, so I headed back to the fortress. There we go. Thank you for your rod, good sir. I shall be seeing you never again. After getting my blaze rods, I headed back home. On day 66, I made more eyes of Ender, and I also went to get some gold, because I wanted to get some more gapples. You can never be too careful in these playthroughs, alright? You can never be too careful, so I wanted to load more gapples. So I went mining, and uh, I stumbled across a really cool cave and ended up spending two days down here, alright? I, I spent two days down here, alright? Just take, just take a look at this cave. It was absolutely breathtaking. I love this cave. Hey, look at this. Hell yeah, dude. Two diamonds. And I only got two from them, because Fortune apparently didn't work at all. Okay, lovely. Well, there's another two diamonds at least. Where were they earlier? Ah, and there's some more diamonds right there. Would you look at that? Mm-mm. Any more? Ooh, there is. Right there. Ooh, damn, dude. Ten diamonds. Let's go. Fortune OP. But boys, look at this. I don't know how well YouTube's going to actually, like, pull this up, but look at this. This is amazing. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. It's so big. Does it go... Oh my god. This is awesome, dude. This is crazy. What? Look at this. I actually, I'm, I'm so amazed by this. Oh, the glow squid as well. 
Oh my god. Look, it's so big. Oh my god. I, I, I'm, I'm so astounded. Is that diamonds? Is that diamonds down there? Or is that the glow lichen or whatever it is? I think it's the glow vines. How did I never see this cave? This cave is literally like under my house. It's like in my mind. This cave is in my mind. Look at the lava as well, dude. Damn. Oh, of course there's a skeleton in here. Ruining my day. Ruining my day as, as usual. As usual. I teach you, buddy. There we go. Some more diamonds over there. That's pretty cool. See, I was getting so bad luck with diamonds earlier. Um, and, I mean, it's not amazing luck now. But, I mean, it's, it's a lot better than what it was. I'm actually finding them now. But I feel like I needed to be in a bigger cave. I thought the one I was in was, was big. But this is... This is, like, completely different. It's like, larger than life, this cave. It's huge. Oh, there's some more diamonds up in the roof as well. Look at that. Jesus, they're all over in here. 14! I've got 14! I've also got a stack of gold, which is, I think, about as much as I needed. Alright, okay. It's time to leave. It's time to leave. We've got us gold. We even got some diamonds. It's time to, uh, it's time to get out of here. On day 68, I waited for my gold to smelt, and I also made a load more gapples. On day 69, I brewed some instant health potions, and then it was time to return back to the stronghold, ready for the fight ahead of me. Alright boys, we're going to get some potions brewed right here, okay? We're going to get some, some awkward potions, and then we're going to make some instant health. And we're going to take them with us to the boss fight. And we managed to get 13 apples yesterday, and I also repaired my armor with the, uh, with the lovely, lovely diamonds that we found yesterday. Okay, now this will make them splash potions, right? I need them splash. I want them splash. There it is. Splash potion of instant health. Let's go. Alright boys, here we go. We're going to pop this eye down and do a little bit of last minute prep and then we're going in on day 70. There it is. Alright. Bit of last minute prep and then we're going in. Okay, so this is where everything started to go wrong. Little did I know that me entering this portal would be one of the last things I would ever do in this world. After entering the end, the first thing I decided to do was obviously to take out all the crystal towers, but my aim with the bow was very off today, so I decided to scale the bigger ones because I just couldn't hit them. This was my second mistake. Anyway, I scale the tower and I get to the top, everything's looking good so far. I shoot out all the other crystal towers I can see, and then I decide to mine down from the way I came. And I end up falling. Luckily, I drop a water bucket like the pro I am, um, but did you catch what happened? Did you catch what went wrong in this scenario? That's right. I uh, I looked at an enderman while falling and uh, oh boy, it made him mad. And well, he came over and started beating me. So I try and box myself in with cobblestone, you know, like any reasonable man would do. But uh, he hit me through the wall. This man was so intent on getting me, he shattered the fabric of space and time just to kill me. He did all that just so I wouldn't survive 100 days. That's how I died. An enderman hitting me through a wall. I'm not salty about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. But yeah, this boy killed me. There you go. That's that's my death. That's my death in 100 days in 1.17. But anyways, boys, there you have it. That's how I died in 100 days in 1.17. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't, you know, a full 100 days video. But I didn't want this video to go to waste. But anyways, I thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video at any point, please let me know by dropping a like or a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one, boys. Stay safe till then. And it's adios from me.